ISO cost line. In this tutorial, we shall discuss the ISO cost line. We shall do it under the heads 1. Need per ISO cost line 2. ISO cost line defined 3. Derivation of ISO cost line 4. Slope and the price ratio. Now, 1. Need for ISO cost line. In an ISO count curve, there are so many combinations of two factors, labor and capital, capable of producing the same level of output. Each ISO count in ISO count map represents a specific level of output. But the ultimate aim of the producer is to produce a given output by choosing a cost minimizing combination of factors. The producer cannot achieve his aim without any information about outlay and prices of two factors. There is no reference about cost or outlay and prices of the two factors in the ISO code. It is here the ISO cost line comes to the rescue of producers. ISO cost line provides the necessary information about outlay and prices of the two factors. This is how the need for ISO cost line arises. 2. ISO cost line defined. See this graph. It illustrates ISO cost line. It is a curve. It consists of combinations of two factors, namely labor and capital. The speciality about this curve is this. A producer can buy any combination with the same outlay or incurring the same cost. For example, D, E and F are a few combinations on the ISO cost curve. If the cost of combination D is 100 rupees. The cost of E and F are the same. This is the same with all other combinations on this curve. So, ISO cost line shall be defined as ISO cost line is a curve which consists of combinations of two factors whose costs are the same. In short, a producer can buy any combination on the ISO cost curve with the same outlay. 3. Derivation of ISO cost line. Let us use a numerical example to understand the derivation of ISO cost curve. The producer has an outlay C 100 rupees. The price of one unit of labor PL 20 rupees. The price of one unit of capital, PK, 5 rupees. If the producer spends the entire outlay only on capital, he can buy 100 by 5, 20 units of capital. Then, 0, 20 is a point on the ISO cost curve. Let us name it as point A. It is plotted along the y-axis. On the other hand, if he spends the whole outlay on labor, he can buy 100 by 20, 5 units of labor. Then, 5, 0 is yet another point on the curve. Let us name it as B. It is splattered along the x-axis. These two points, A, B, are joined with the help of a straight line. The resultant curve is ISO cost line or curve. 4. Slope and price ratio. The slope of a straight line given by the formula delta y by delta x. Here, delta y is OA, delta x is OB. Then, the slope of the price line is OA by OB. OA is 20 units, OB is 5 units. The slope of the curve is 20 by 5, 4. 
again slope of the price line is given by the price ratio pl by pk price of 1 unit of labor is 20 rupees price of 1 unit of capital is 5 rupees then 20 divided by 5 4 4 is the price ratio it is the same as the slope of the iso cost line slope and the price ratio are very important in determining the producer equilibrium or in determining the optimum combination of factors. Our discussion ends here. We shall meet in the next lesson. Bye.